let me introduce you to the Islamic Republic of Iran. This is the land of sacrifice. This is the land that a revolution would take place and shake the whole world, not just in the year that it took place, 1979, but continues to send rumbles throughout the world. As for its enemies, it is like an earthquake which causes tsunamis. This is because the Islamic Republic of Iran stands against what had been the status quo political systems controlling and dividing the countries of the world between themselves. When the founder of the Islamic Republic and the leader of the revolution, Imam Khomeini, may peace be upon him, said not east nor west, he was introducing a whole new train of thought to the world. Iran would pay the price for not wanting to be subservient to the powers of the East nor West. Striving for independence in a colonial setting is not easy. From the very beginning, many Iranians were killed fighting for independence and trying to keep it. Assassinations took place by proxies of the superpowers, and no one was spared from the most well-known politicians to the small store owner. People from all walks of life were targeted men, women, and children. And if that wasn't enough, an eight-year war was launched against the Islamic Republic, which also failed to bring down the government, but took the lives of some 200,000 Iranians. Of course, the enemies of Islam have never stopped trying to destroy the Islamic Republic from continued assassinations, this time nuclear scientists or sanctions or anti-Iran media campaigns the exerting of pressure has never stopped. And despite it all, the Islamic Republic of Iran not only still stands strong, its influence continues to grow. The latest attempt targeting the Islamic Republic has been the creation and support of Daesh or ISIS. The main goal of the enemies in the region and beyond in creating and supporting this terrorist group is to weaken and destroy the Islamic Republic. Despite plot after plot, spending billions and billions of dollars, the question we want you to concentrate on is why is it that Iran, which was the main goal of the creation of Daesh, an island of security and peace while being surrounded by chaos, what makes Iran different from the rest? Despite all their efforts, why have the enemies not been able to destroy the revolution? NAS TV wants you to send in your comments. We want to hear from you. What is the difference? Think about the answer, and when you come up with the answer, you will find the key to success for all Muslims and all of the Muslazafin, the oppressed of the world, to truly be free.